Welcome, everybody, to the X8 VRML Season 1 North American Top 8 Double Elimination Tournament. My name's Nightfire with two E's. I will be your sole conductor into today's journey into the best of the best in the North American region in X8. We are watching number two versus number three in the regular season battle it out today in the winner's bracket with it for a chance to advance on to the semifinals. Eclipse eight and three, wrecked 10 and two. Both squads boasting some impressive win to loss ratios there and both squads having a match history against each other with Eclipse taking it to a three map decider going 16 to seven. We're ready to go into our first map of the afternoon, which it is going to be Neo Yakuza for map number one of the afternoon. And you look at the match history here, you see 65% win rate from Eclipse, 65% win rate from Wrecked on Neo Yakuza. Big shout out to everyone tuning in, hanging out and enjoying the action today. If you didn't hang out for the free show, we appreciate you. We're here now for Map number one, round one, we appreciate you, but it is going to be Eclipse on the defense, wrecked on the attack, a good bit of defensive aggression, two pylons down to disrupt this swing over towards the Siphon, though, which is into the hands of Trev, who is going to push this corner and does catch Sleepy, but doesn't matter. With Siphon down at A, the rotations are coming in, Chicken, Waffle, and Trev. Alone in their efforts with the concern there of Nero using their character ability and they'll catch Waffle down. Looking for two, they pick up a double. And that's the round opener for Wrecked. But Chicken and Akari trading one for one. Up over the center towards that AB side and Akari finds another on the sleep. Pillar down to slow movement through. And a great ability there used from Nero catching the kill over the top. That pillar does go down, the pylon, excuse me, does go down. Nice swing from Trev for a one-for-one, one, but that's all it is. Where is Siphon going to be planted is the question. The team seems to be rotating. It's going to be up to Waffle. Alone in a 1v3 with 100 HP, and they'll get picked up. Nero, but no one home on the top floor, and Psykillo is going to catch one on the bottom. A peek out from Hazmat. The zoning there, but Mad Dog flying forward, catching the kill. And now it's up to Sleetso and Trev to try and pull this thing back together in a 2v5. And it's only one down at the end of the day as Sleepy does get picked off. The Siphon goes down by Erect. East side wide open. Who's defending? Hazmat. Pylon down there to hold things for a second, but that's all it really was. And with 35 seconds left, they're going to have plenty of time to get a Siphon down. Doesn't help much on Waffle there as Waffle finds one on the back side. Hazmat finds another, and we're into a 1v1. Hazmat versus Psykillo, and Psykillo connects to put Wrecked up 6-0. So far, the attacking half has gone better for both teams. Opening pick, though, goes the way of Nero. The refrag not connecting. Good wall denying vision. Good zoning onto the corner there, forcing Mad Dog to push up. A vault up over the top that does get identified, and look at this into the corner. The swing coming in and a nice pickup from Chicken over the top. Akari finds the quick refrag on the back swing. And it's up to Hazmat to hold things down. But Mad Dog finds the kill. And map one goes into their hands wholeheartedly 8-2. to two. In a dominating opening series for this team, they take a early map win. And again, in my opinion, I think maybe surprise a couple of folks at home. As Eclipse weren't able to get their footing at all here on Neo Yakuza for map one. So I'm curious where we go for our second map. So far again, a great opening series, a good start for Wrecked, but map two uh, could be the decider for this series, or we could be guided to a third if Eclipse have anything to say about it. Second map is gonna be Depot. We are ready to dive in to Depot to kick things off. have Eclipse on the defense, Rex on the attack, and an exciting series on our hands, to the beat of their own drum, so to speak. A good pylon here, going to slow down 
the duo up through the middle. Tracking Dark comes out, gets shot before it identifies any info. Ability comes out over the corner, catches no one as the turret does a great job of stalling the squad out. Nice wall up over the top. The vault could be coming in, and a great ability from Hazmat Connect. Sleep picks up one as well. And as the siphon goes down, no, it doesn't. G, the Big Mac, finds the kill over the top. Nero at least gets one on the board. But the attacking side getting shut down as Akari is alone in a 1v4 full HP. Across the board as Waffle cleans things up with a deagle over the top and a solid hold from Eclipse. The first time today Eclipse do take the lead against Rekt for a opening 1-0 on map 2 on Depot. A little bit of a trading back and forth at the middle. Sleep. Getting aggressive finds too right away to kick things off for her cliffs. They continue to have a great defensive half. Mad Dog with a nice one tap over the top, though. Does get at least one back in order. Crashing now back to the siphon. And Sleet here to kick things off with the first kill of the three defenders. The second kill of the three defenders. And I think they got the double earlier in this round. I gotta wonder if they're looking at the ace here. As Sleepy finds one, can't get two, and G catches the kills. Minute in, no kills on both sides. Both teams starting to try and slow things up. Just a touch, and over the top, Big Mac catches one. The wall doesn't come up in time. Sleep finds another on the other side of the wall, which was not denying their vision, and there's a double kill for Sleep. In the chaos, two do make it to the other site, though. A wall does go up to deny some vision, and in the corner, Mad Dog cannot fend off the entirety of this team. Sleepy is here to do a little bit of work, but now before Sleep finds the kill and gets the defuse, Eclipse up 3 nil out the gate here on map 2. The wall comes out, the flash on the corner. <clears throat> a teleport from Sleepy right into the entirety of Wrecked that does not go well. And pickups over the top on sight. The swing over the corner. And the refrag from Mad Dog. Over the top. The shots there connecting from Big Mac. And with two alive this time. Eclipse will just barely scrape away with a 4-0 lead here. Oh, and what a pick from Waffles. A great headshot. Eclipse really starting to get into a groove here as Waffles and Trev clean things up. Ooh, and that's a good denial of vision, but the pylon placed quickly. Psychillo on the back. Can't get a double. Vision comes in. Good smoke that's dropped right onto the top of uh, Kari's line of sight. Another down, another down as Waffles swings in nicely. And with the siphon planted, Mad Dog has a 1v3 ahead of them. Farewell. Catches the first, has 100 HP. Heals are coming in and not in time. Big Mac goes down. This could be the triple for Mad Dog with 2 HP. No, Trev shuts it down. And Eclipse just barely come away with their life. Sleet using their ability to push forward. Extend up and find info and be able to snap back to their spawn point when in danger off of an early kill there. So a nice pickup and a drop back. And as they drop back, Sleep finds Psychillo on a flank. Siphon goes down from Eclipse on the attack. Another kill at Akari. This is all that stands between us and a third map. Can't get the multi kill they need and with Sleet going 15 and 5 they'll take MVP and map 2 into Eclipse's hands who is going to get closer to that trip out to Denver Colorado for the top two North American teams it is got to be on both of these squads minds as they do take this to a third map a lot of pressure from here on out it's all on the line in a lot of perspectives. That's actually next weekend, technically. That's when it's really all on the line. But, hey, every 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 series win matters in the postseason. And we're going to see what we get from both of these squads as we get ready to dive in to map three on Midtown.
There's both big ticket items coming out of in terms of zoning and AoE. Pylons going down. A little bit of vision control there as some smokes come out. Heels come in. Tracking dart should get some decent info. And as the swing comes in, Mad Dog catches one. Mad Dog barreling forward, goes down to Waffle, holding things down. An all-out brawl over B-side unfolding as Nero. Able to scoop up Hazmat and Eclipse are down to three. Sleet with a big frag to keep get this back to a 3-3. With double pylons and a flank coming in, Sleepy. One HP, nine HP on the short corner. Sleet so catches another. They peek out looking for Sleepy in a 1v1. Sleepy with 100 HP. Sleet so one HP. Has to catch the headshot. Has to surprise Sleepy and almost does. Sleepy able to tuck in. Knife comes out and Sleet so clutches it. I think Sleetso's wife should take credit more often, quite frankly. Another! Psykillo goes down, starts to push in, a second kill! Make it a third, there's a triple waffle over the top actually, soup scooping it away. And Sleetso feeling confident, finds Nero through the smoke! A insane push forward. Siphon time ticking down, no way Akari's gonna be able to push this off. Sleetso will find another one. To tack on to the scoreboard goes eight and zero, oh. three two split. Sleet so opening things up on the push forward. And Mad Dog tries to poke and prod. Trav will pop out. Pylon for zoning and the confidence to advance forward gets caught up by Psykilla. One for ones. Ooh, and Hazmat peeks out to catch Nero. Akari continues to try and fight as the one left alive. Their ult comes in and catches Waffle. Siphon is ticking down. Three left alive. I think Akari likely just trying to tuck in and survive, but Hazmat not allowing that. And with utility out, Akari tries to tuck into the smoke. Another wall comes up. Nero flies through it. Picks up one from Hazmat. And on their flank there, the ult used from Sleepy able to respawn them on the backside. Eclipse trying to fend off the pinch from Mad Dog and a great bit of zoning there done from that grenade. Does catch big damage on the Mad Dog who's left with five HP. Meanwhile, ECL, the entirety of Eclipse, pretty much full. The lowest being Waffle at 83 HP, but you compare that to Mad Dog with five and Sleepy who is full. Hazmat almost finds a double on the reload, does pick up two. Oh, and Nero can't get all the way into B. Sleepy here, fighting Akari, swinging wide out, not connecting with much. Smoke does come in, but it's not gonna deny the vision on their approach out. Second smoke thrown up the wall there. We're seeing a battle of hero utility as Sleepy pops out just in time on the flank. The kill comes in from Big Mac. And a double connected there to put them up 5-2 on the half. Everyone from Eclipse are now going to crash back for the retake. Nero catches one with a long range shot from their hero ability with a railgun all the way down to the corner. They'll pick up a second before going down from Sleetso. Sakilo tucks in, gets pushed out. Sleetso continues to barrel forward connecting with heads. Hero ability coming out, not connecting for any kills. And Siphon has to get uh, interrupted here. And you are seeing Hazmat find a key kill and sleep so over the top while Big Mac finds the defuse and Eclipse. Get closer and closer to advancing on through the winner's bracket. The reality of Rex's situation may be starting to settle in here. Maybe starting to get a little bit concerned about the possibility of them getting bumped down to the loser's bracket. Acer's down there. <laughs> so if they do want to win through, they very well could be going up against Acer. Oh, and Hazmat peaks. Catching the rotation, a big nade there that forces them to swing up and push. They get caught out on the vault over, and Hazmat catches Nero out. No chance. With moves like that, the sword coming in to shield. The shots over the top from Waffle one-handed connect. Mad Dog is able to get over to A though. Does get the siphon planted. Does catch a kill through the smoke and Akari. All that's left. And gone. 
As Waffle finds the kill, and now a commanding lead, 7-2 for Eclipse, and one point away from them going through the winner's bracket, advancing on to the semifinals that will get played out next weekend, where they'll have a chance to advance on to the grand finals, which will be live at VRMLCon, and they will win themselves a trip out to Denver, Colorado, July 20th and 21st. Rektar backs against the wall, but there's still hope left. Great ability use there from Hazmat. Eclipse maybe smelling blood in the water. Getting a little bit over-aggressive as Sleepy catches one. Mad Dog finds another, and now they're left with two and a 2v3. No sight control over at A. And they're not going to be ready for this tucked in. Oh, or are they? Nero goes down. A really great read from Sleet, so... Checking every single corner. Another flash around. Doesn't catch a counter flash. Catches one on the back side. Stops them and splits them. Sleetso flies out for the kill. Siphon continues the tick down. And what is going to be a clutch from Mad Dog? No. Time left for the Siphon Defuse Eclipse. We'll be advancing through the winner's bracket. <laughs> and a bit of celebration on the Siphon. And Eclipse continue to stay alive in the postseason.